Hello and welcome everyone. In this episode, I'll review a new feature that allows to create item requirements for the projects that have multiple funding sources. Here's this feature right here. And as you can see, it's not enabled yet. So what I will do is I'll compare the behavior of the system before I activate the feature and then after. Here I have two projects. One is the fixed price project and another one is time and material project. Both are using the same project contract that has two funding sources. So let's check it. Here I have two customers, Birch and O companies set up as the funding sources, and I have a single funding allocation rule. So let's take a look at this. 70% goes to O company and then 30 goes to Birch. Now, if I want to check the fixed price project, I'll check uh, under plan and I can see that item requirement isn't enabled. So it's quite typical for the fixed price projects not to allow the creation of the item requirements. For the time and material projects, you usually can create an item requirement, but only if there is a single funding source based on the project contract. And as you have seen, we have two. So if we click on the item requirement right here, we will see this message that says that the item requirement not, may not be created for a project associated with a contract with multiple funding sources. So this is where we are before activating that feature. Now let's go and activate it. Enable. And it also says that we need to make sure that allow for projects with multiple funding sources under project management and accounting parameter is enabled. So let's make sure that's the case. Here are my parameter screen. And in here under sales order, allow for projects with multiple funding sources. Option is set to yes. Now let's check the fixed price project. We still see that the item requirement is disabled. And now let's go to our time and module project and click on the item requirements. Here we get to the screen where we can create new item requirements. We'll click on new and under invoice account, we have a selection of two customers. And remember, these two customers have been set up as funding sources of that project contract. All right, so looks like from there, I would be able to select an invoice account, select an item number, select the warehouse quantity, and save that item requirement. So here you have it, the feature that allows you to now create item requirements for time and material projects with multiple funding sources. And another important topic here is that the allocation rules here would not apply. So that means that allocation of 70, 30% that we have set up on that project contract will not be applicable as item requirement will belong to a single funding source, basically a single customer. I hope you find it useful until the next time.